This is the front of the cabin. We're facing the creek down here, you can see. I'll show it better from on top of the porch. All these cedar trees came from the property. Cut them down and notched them. Built all the railing out of cedar trees. But here's the creek. Right there, that hole of water, the kids call that the swimming hole. That's where they swim. That's a battery box for the batteries for the solar system. These windows and doors we built out of Western Cedar two by sixes. Right out there you can see the outhouse. picnic table out here you come down here and eat around the fire you come around this side this is the side of the cabin that faces up here you drive in from this direction Outhouse that direction. I was at a conservation area one time and I saw that they had a chain that they'd hung a bunch of antlers on. So all the antlers I've collected over the years I hung on this chain. It just hangs off the end of that log. This is the other side of the cabin. This is live edge siding. Just, it's framed like you typically frame a house and put the live edge siding on it, kind of give it the log look. All the foundation is all made out of rock that we got out of the creek and it's not completely finished. I need to grout all the joints we'll go check out the outhouse outhouse has the live edge siding on it also let's see Kimberly's gonna use an outhouse, then she wants it to be clean. Looks like the mice have been in here. So there's the hole, and that's where we keep the toilet paper so the mice don't get it. And this is a motion light. If you come out here at night, as soon as you open the door, that light comes on. So put a metal roof on it, but the middle panel. I put a clear plastic, so it's kind of like a skylight 
Works pretty well in the daytime. It's not dark. The old outhouse. That was a must with the kids. It seemed like every time we came down here, they had to go to the restroom and we didn't live down here at the time. We lived a couple miles away. Now I could just send them up to the house, but back then it wasn't an option. The solar panels are up on the porch roof facing directly south. So it works out great for the solar system that we have here. I've got a couple plugs here for run to different areas to hook a generator up. Um, we can run the whole cabin off of a generator if this, and charge the batteries if the solar power is not working or it's been too cloudy or We've used too much electricity. We have these big black rocks that were here naturally. We've kind of moved them around to make a path. But all of these were here. I moved these ones around here to make a fire pit. Make a circle there. Because it was a steep drop off. Now everybody can, you can sit around the fire. It's a place our family loves to come and hang out and friends. And, uh, in the spring, which it's March now, but it's beautiful. And the dogwoods and the red buds start blooming and the leaves start coming out. Right now everything's kind of dead. I'll have to do another video whenever the dogwoods and red buds start blooming just to the landscape all right let me show you the inside of the cabin kind of get a view of the living area of the cabin the whole downstairs they got a living room here on the right and the kitchen and dining on the left got the couch Wood stove, some chairs and a rug. There's some deer that I've shot. Cooper, one of my boys shot the one on the right. The other two are from Kansas. The turkey I shot local. Over here is our kitchen table. We built that to match the kitchen cabinets that we built, same colors, same top. We got a hammer copper sink. Some floating shelves. This was Kimberly's BB gun when she was a kid. Got it hung up in here. There's the stairs that go up to the loft where the beds are. All these logs, these cedar logs, um, the ones outside got this big tree up the middle that we brought in. The handrail, all the supports for the loft. They're all just power washed. There's no there's no varnish on them of any kind. They've just been power washed. Up here are the bunk beds. Our family has six. My wife and I and four kids. So there's two full beds down here. Kimberly and I can have one. The two smaller kids can sleep in one. And then 
the two older boys, they each take a, they can sleep on the top. It's not quite a twin size. The length is a, the right, but the width is a little narrower than a twin size mattress. Ceilings up here, the middle is about seven feet. Maybe a hair higher. This is the view from the loft down below. All my solar uh, charge controller and inverter, they're all located underneath of the kitchen cabinets. A water tank and a 12 volt water pump for the sink. It's all located, runs off the solar. Um, that little button right there turns the, I rigged up a dowel rod on a spring that turns the inverter on and off. There it comes back on. Anyway, this is our little cabin. It's off the grid. The outhouse. If we lost electricity up at the big house, we could come down here and wouldn't know any different. So we enjoy the space. We actually had this before we built our house down here. We used to come down here a lot more than we do now, but it's a good place to come and get away. We're here today and I thought I would kind of give you some history behind the cabin. Um, about four years ago, the boys were just little and I knew we'd want a place to come bring our family and spend time together. Um, it's always been a dream of mine since I was a little boy to build a cabin. So we started, went down to the creek and picked up rocks built the foundation, uh, built the floor system, framed the walls, got it dried in fairly quickly, probably in a month or two. And then after that, it kind of slowed down. We just were able to work on weekends and whenever we had time. And we went ahead and just finished as we could, as we had the money, as we were able to buy the material. We tried to save as much as we could, so we built the windows and built the doors and built the cabinets, the kitchen table, um, did all the work ourselves, bought stuff on Craigslist. But anyway, it's finished today, um, but we have a project coming up that we're wanting to add on to the cabin and do a few other, pro do a few other things with it um, to make it available for other people. So. Right now, this is where it's at in the future. It may be different, but we enjoy it and we hope other people enjoy it too.